Hey guys, I have some awesome news. If you want to win a free Robux gift card, make sure that you use the star code MATRIX whenever you buy Robux. I'll be giving out gift cards on literally every video, and if you want more than just one, go onto Twitter and tweet at me proof that you've used my star code for bonus gift cards. Be sure as well to leave a like and subscribe, and now, let's get on into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Driving Simulator. Welcome back everybody. Today is a very special day, okay? You may not know why, but today is a special day in Driving Sim because today, as you can see, we are very, very close to a pretty big milestone in this game. 1,000 miles driven. Some people might say that's not a big deal. Some people might think it really isn't because one, it's a video game, and two, of course, it is just a number on a screen. But We've been playing this game quite a bit recently. As you guys know, we have a ton of videos. I recommend you go watch all of them, but today's video is important because today we are finally making a thousand miles, which puts us into a pretty new category. As you can see on the leaderboard, there is a very, very small amount of people who have 1,000 miles in this server, keeping in mind that this server has about like 60 people in it, and only maybe one, two, three people have 1,000 miles or more. So, especially because this is our Port to Rich series, this is really cool. We've made a pretty big moment in the game, and as you guys can see, these are all of the cars that we currently have unlocked. Now, don't count this car because this car here is uh, is a free one that I still don't know how I got, but throughout the course of this series, we have bought ourselves a Chevrolet Camaro, then a Dodge Viper, just recently a McLaren 720S, and of course the Lancia Stratos. So, definitely some pretty awesome cars, but we are very, very close to the big milestone, and I have a bunch of plans for how we're gonna reach it, and they involve trying a bunch of races and uh, pretty much just doing a bunch of things. So, we're gonna start things off with a very good warm-up race in today's video, which is going to be, of course, the race that I recommended that everybody should do if they wanna grind out money, and that is, of course, the Into the Mountains and uh, the Downhill Race. So, we're gonna start with those. Hopefully, we have a couple of people who wanna participate with us. We can get a good race going, and hopefully, we can actually end up winning them as well so I think what we'll start with is the into the mountains race and then we'll move over to the uphill one and uh, yeah so let's do that first uh oh oh god anyways I hope you guys are all having a great day by the way I've been having a ton of fun recently and this game has just been so much fun to do I've got a ton of cool ideas for it and I hope you guys are excited about it because there is gonna be a lot going on in the next little while already so this took a very long time but I think we finally got a race going so this is the third server that I had to switch to but I am thankful we finally got a race going this took way 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 too long the last two servers that I was in I guess one people didn't recognize me and uh, and two obviously most of them didn't speak English so it made it kind of hard to organize a race but anyways we finally got one going and that's what matters and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I want to do with this series because there's a lot left to do but more importantly than that I want to keep it interesting and I'm thinking about what the next car is that I'm going to buy and right now the big one that I definitely have been thinking about is the Aventador because as you guys know that is only 580,000 we could literally buy it in today's video I don't know if we necessarily have to buy it in this video but I definitely know I'm going to at some point I'm just thinking because it's very easy to want to just save up and then get a really good car but if I go and save up and buy like a million dollar car it probably will be near the end of the series because by the time we get a car like that there isn't really gonna be a whole lot left to do and I want to keep it fresh I like making videos on this game and I really do enjoy making them when they feel different and unique every time and that's why I've been trying to do things like the mini games and stuff like that if you guys haven't seen we've been doing mini games as well um, I would recommend you guys go watch those those are a ton of fun and I do them with other youtubers as well so it keeps it really interesting um, but I'm just trying to think about like what cars to buy how to keep progressing because once we cross a thousand miles I feel like we're almost done in a way like I feel like you reach a point and then it's like, okay, what do we got to do next? So what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try to max myself out with all the best cars and all that stuff. And then hopefully they'll add new updates with new races or new cars. And then I can get to doing videos on all the update stuff. That's the plan guys. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around for that because it's going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy it as well. And I want to keep it fresh and exciting every single time for obvious reasons. But let's complete this race. And then I think what we're going to do is a race that I really don't do enough of 
um, and that is going to be the madness race. If you guys know anything about that race, it is very challenging, but the last time I did it, I didn't do it in this car, and this car might be perfect for the madness race because of how well it handles. It doesn't really need to be super, super fast, um, mostly because the madness race is a lot of turning around and twists, so you don't really get to go that fast anyways. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this car over there, and I'm gonna see how it does. I've never done it before. This race, however, uh, I feel pretty confident with. I've done it a lot, and I think it's about time we try something different. So we're gonna do the madness race, and I've got a couple of plans for other races to do after that one as well. Let's keep it fresh, let's keep it exciting, and uh, let's try to get first place on this one here. I think it's just a 1v1, so it should be a pretty good one. I have not been playing nearly as good as I normally do, um, but then again, I only woke up a little while ago, so I haven't really played a lot today, and I definitely didn't play a lot yesterday. You guys might have noticed that I didn't do a video yesterday, and honestly, that's because apparently I have something called hay fever. Um, if you guys ever have allergies or anything like that, you know what I mean. Hay fever is, it, it, it's essentially like having seasonal allergies, you know, once, once the green grass starts growing and everything, you kind of start to sneeze a lot, and uh, that's what I've been getting recently, and it's been super, super annoying, but either way, let's head to the madness race. Uh, I hope I can keep doing videos every single day. I definitely enjoy doing them every day, but yesterday I had to take a little bit of a break, and don't worry, I still regret it, <laughs> because I just like making videos, and whenever I don't get a chance to, it definitely, uh, definitely kind of sucks. So anyways, let's go see which one's the madness race. I actually don't remember. Alrighty, madness race. We can have eight people on this race. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, also, this is kind of weird. I just noticed this. There's exactly eight parking spots in this little circle here. So that's pretty awesome. Holy, oh wait, we got five people on it. Nice, okay, so not a full amount, but five people is pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. Like I said, don't have a lot of experience at this race and I already messed up, <laughs> nice. Literally a second into it, I already made a mistake and there's our second mistake. Okay, this is, uh, wow, madness race. You can't make any mistakes on this one. It's very, very based on like small little maneuvers and just like most of the races in this game, it's determined by every little second. So every second counts uh, and you don't wanna do stuff like that hitting into corners. It's better off if you just slow down more than the other guy and then not make any mistakes. That's kind of the thing with driving simulator. Like this right here has already made me kind of lose this race and if I didn't make that small little mistake, I was much more likely to win. Um, but anyways, we're actually not completely out of it yet. Um, I messed that up as well, but hopefully we can still get through. Okay, and then we go this way. Okay, there's no freaking way I'm gonna win this race. There is no way. Hold on, let's go here. Let's turn here. Okay, wow, this is so complicated. I gotta get way better at this race. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, second place? Wow, I can't believe I got second place. Let's uh, let's go do the city roundabout, this one right over here, and then let's go try something different. Wow, shout outs to all of the fans in this video. This is crazy, everybody here is pretty much fans. That is so, so cool. Shout outs to all of you guys. Thank you for supporting me, joining my game, and making it a lot easier for me to make videos because if it wasn't for all of these guys, it would be very hard to do most of these races, and I am very, very lucky to have people who want to do races with me. Um, because that's kind of the problem, isn't it? Like, sometimes you want to do a certain race, but then there's nobody actually doing the race. So you're kind of stuck just doing the around the world or just doing the uh, downtown race. And, you know, sometimes you want to do something a little different. So it's pretty nice for me to be able to, uh, to do all that. So that's really, really cool. And uh, it looks like I'm probably not going to get first. This car isn't really the best for everything. Sometimes it's good for the mountain races, but in general, I think it just, it lacks behind a lot of different cars. Uh, the handling is fantastic, but in general, it's just not as quick as other cars are. We're actually in our second lap. Looks like we're doing okay, but a couple of other cars are definitely getting ahead of us just because, you know, we, we, we can't really keep up with them. You know, our car is not nearly as fast as an Aventador. It's not as fast as some of these other guys, so we're definitely at a severe disadvantage. But anyways, let's see. We're cutting some pretty good shortcuts, I will say, so I might be able to kind of pull into second. I don't know if we're going to get first because he is so, so far ahead. You know what? If I can get second place in a pretty pretty okay car. I'll take it. I will take it. There we go. Second place, 4,700. Not too bad. We still need 50 miles, guys. Um, let's go do the around the world, I think. That that might be a pretty good one. Alrighty, this is going to be a good race. Look at all these people here. 
bunch of competition. We got a Huracan, a Ventador, Viper, 484. Alrighty, here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's see if we can at least get second place or something in the around the world. I don't know how that guy sped so far up ahead, but holy smokes. Dude, I want an Aventador so bad. I'm probably going to buy it in the next video, guys. So expect that in the next Port Rich video. Or maybe I'll buy something else. I don't know. You guys can leave suggestions down below in the comment section. Let me know what kind of car you guys want to see me use. Um, because, oh man, Aventadors just look so tempting for the price. We can already afford it. Oh, geez. I don't know. Unless we'll save up for the Senna or something like that. I don't know. But we already have a McLaren. So it's kind of hard to justify getting another one. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments what kind of cars you guys want to see me get next time. I would greatly appreciate it. And hey, if you're still enjoying Port Rich, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as well. Don't forget to do that, guys. Your support means everything on these videos, and uh, it definitely helps me make more of them. I'm just kind of hoping that this Aventador makes the same mistake the other guy did, and then maybe I'll get a chance to pull ahead. Um, because right now it looks like I'm probably going to get third. Oh my gosh, the other dude already won with 59 seconds in the around the world. That is crazy fast. GG dude, we got third with a time of 107. That's okay, but not nearly as good as 59 seconds. Alrighty, so we're gonna try this again. Um, I made a big mistake in the last one. Hopefully we don't make the same mistake twice. This should go a little bit better. I wasn't really nearly as focused last time, and uh, I think if we just kind of focus, we'll be able to get a really, really good time on this one. But yeah, guys, I just want to say the support on all of these videos has been absolutely amazing. You guys have shown nothing but love on all of these, and I just really appreciate being able to make every single one of these videos, and you guys watch them, so thank you guys. Um, I'm hoping that they add an update soon, because this game's been out for a couple of weeks now, and there really hasn't been anything in the way of updates. I don't know if there's going to be something coming out very soon, maybe this weekend, but I will say, if it's going to be more cars, maybe it's better off that I just save my money, and then maybe I can buy one of the new cars, and be able to record that that would probably be a lot more exciting than uh, just buying one of the older cars so maybe we'll just save our money I'm not really sure yet it's so hard to decide man because it takes such a long time to make a lot of money in this game and you really want to be able to spend it on the right things and with this game they're constantly thinking of new ways to like patch things and constantly trying to balance it out and everybody kind of knows right now that the Aventador is a good deal they even already raised the price of it before um, so they might raise it again and if that's gonna be the case I don't know if I should buy it or maybe they'll add something to make the Aventador less important to own and maybe they'll have a car that's even better for a better price I don't know so I'm just gonna hold on to my money for now just keep grinding you know making money and playing the game and enjoying it and hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get something in the future but yeah for now I'm just gonna grind these races out they're probably like the best for this environment so I'm gonna do these and hopefully we can cross a thousand miles together on video Video. Oh my gosh, look at all of these people waiting to do this race. They're all sitting outside of the ring too. This is really, really cool actually. And they all let us kind of pull in like this. Holy, this is awesome. It's almost like it's an organized meetup. This is really, really cool. There's a full race of eight people here. This doesn't normally happen every day. So let's see if we can do well on this one. I am going to record it. Normally I've been kind of cutting these out, but I think this one is, uh, is worth recording just because it, it's super, super intense. Um, okay, we're not gonna go for that. <laughs> this, this guy did the same thing and we both messed up last time as well. So let's see what we can do. Is it gonna be money or is it gonna be skill? Let's see who wins this race here because this guy, he's got a very expensive car, but he doesn't know that I've been grinding this race out nonstop for a very long time. So hopefully we can win this against him. Although his car is insanely fast. I still think we can manage, especially in these little windy areas. This is where I really got to focus and overtake him. Otherwise, he's just going to blow past me in the straightaways, and that is not going to be good enough for me. Um, okay, wow, that was kind of all right, but we got to keep handling. We got to keep hitting these corners as hard as we possibly can, because this straightaway, look how much speed and distance he gains against me. Man, those cars are insanely fast, and when it comes down to it, guys, more money means better cars, and better cars means easier wins, and as you can see, clearly, regardless of how well I do, his car's speed is going to win him the race regardless. Somehow, I actually just managed to win that race. I guess he didn't complete it or something. 8,500 bucks, that is insane. A full race of these people is crazy good money, guys. Holy. But yeah, I'm just gonna grind this out. Maybe I'll do a little montage or something, and and uh, let's get to a thousand miles.
Alrighty guys, welcome back. It has been a good long while. I've been recording this video for almost an hour now, so this is gonna be fun to edit, but I wanna tell you guys, look at the left hand corner. We only need less than 10 miles, and we're about to cross 1,000 miles in today's video. Honestly, I don't know if that's a big deal to most people. To me, it feels like a big deal because, I don't know, it's just like, it's a big moment, you know? When you when you play a game a lot, you like the little moments that make a big deal. So, I've been playing this game a lot, so being able to hit like 1,000 miles, it just feels pretty cool. So, we're actually only 8 away now. Oh my gosh, 8 miles away. This is pretty awesome, guys. I'm probably gonna have to take a screenshot once we hit it, but right now, I'm just kind of driving, you know, I don't really want to do any races because there's so much downtime between the races. What should we do to cross this milestone? Should we like hit a certain ramp or do a certain maneuver or go to a certain spot? I don't really know. Uh, you know what? Let's try to get the server together, guys. I'm going to go back to the downtown and we're going to try to cross a thousand miles together. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Alrighty, so this is what we're doing. I have uh, a bunch of people here. I'm just going to try to line up with them and we're going to try to cross this together. A couple of people are showing up here uh, a lot of people on the server are fans so this is gonna be pretty interesting um, oh my gosh so many people crashing into me but let's see if we can get everybody together 99.7 we're almost there guys um, okay let's see if we can do it and let's just drive together let's let's cruise together okay here we go let's cruise together as I cross 1k miles here we go here we go let's do it together guys all of us together. This is so sick. Look at all these cars here. Okay, they're all gonna drive with me. Nice. This is what it's all about. And uh, yeah, okay, they're- oh geez. Oh god. Okay, let's just not look behind us. 99.8. Let's see if we get to 99.9. There it is. And here we go. There it is. There it is, guys. We made it. And just like that, 1,000 miles on the dot. Let's see everyone celebrating. Everyone saying congratulations. Thank you guys so much. This is super, super cool. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video here. We made it 1,000 miles. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you guys did. And let me know if you guys want to see more. Let me know if there's any cards you want to see me buy in the next video. But this is all I've got for you today. And I'll catch you all in the next Poor to Rich video. Take care, everybody.